Welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share likes, and watch this video. This will help you a lot in order to understand and recall everything in your mouth. Because if you are uh, eagerness to pass, see to it that you have to complete everything in this video. Recall, review, practice, and at the same time, have a faith in God. So this is my only advice to you. Whether you take the board exam for math, as well as the engineering board exam, and also you know how to press calculator, math contest, UPCAT, and so on. Okay, let's proceed for number 49. This is the uh, given. So 3A plus 2BC plus 6A minus 11BC plus 2A. We know that the 3A, you need to combine 3A and 6A. So 3A and 6A, this is 9. 2BC minus 11BC, we have negative 9BC plus 2D. So the best answer is letter C. So 9 plus 6, 9A, 2BC minus 11 minus BC, and plus 2D plus 3E. So let's proceed for number 50. Find the area of the circle whose diameter is 4 cm. We know that this is the circle, right? And this is what you call the diameter. So we have area pi d squared over 4. This will be the formula, not the radius. So area, we have pi time is 4 squared over 4. So we have 16 pi time is 16 over 4. And at the same time, A is equals to 16 divided by 4 is 4 pi or 4 pi and the best answer for this one it's letter a no but if the answer is 4 pi we have preceding answer is 16 pi over 4 take note you need to get the simplify answer but if there is no simplify choose the other one which is also correct so the answer is letter a not letter d 16 pi because we have also 16 pi over 4 here. We have the preceding answer. Number 50. Let's have number 51. Okay. Let's have to erase this one. Let's have the given. 51. Square root of 45 plus 2 square root of 12. We know that this is already a radical expression. So, 45 plus 2 square root of 12. We know that this will be halves 9 times 5. Is that correct? 2, they have 4 times 3. So, we know that this one is already a perfect square and a perfect. For the 9 squared, we have 3 squared times 5 plus 2, 2 squared times 3. Is that correct? And 3 squared root of 5. And then 2 times 2, we have 4 squared root of 3. So the best answer is letter B. That will be the final answer. Okay. Is that correct? So let's have number 50. Two. Let's have number 52. Where is our number 52? Okay, this is the given. Raise it again. Let's try to raise it again. We know that this is the given. X to X plus 3 is equal to 6 divided by 5. All you have to do is to cross multiply. So cross multiply from this one to this one. So 5X is equal to... 5x times is 6 times is 2x plus 3. 5x, we have 12x 
plus 18 and then 5x minus 12x is equals to 18 5x minus 12x Five x minus twelve x. This will become seven x negative eighteen. Eighteen. So negative seven divided by negative seven. So x will be eighteen negative seven. So this will be our final. Is there any answer? It's letter A. Take note. It's letter A. So, let's have proceed for number 53. Where is our 53 here? Let's proceed for number 53. Where is our 53? 53, 53. 53. Okay, this is the given. The test was marked out of 100 if Heidi got if Heidi scored 72 what was her percentage so again so let's try to proceed again the te the math test was marked out of 100 if Heidi scored 72 so automatically he got 72 out of 100 and we will change this one to percentage ECS Move moved to decimal places. 72. So, point seventy-two times 100%. The answer is 72%. Is that correct? So, this will be our answer. It's letter A. So, this is already the given. Okay, let's proceed for number 54. Let's try to proceed. If tangent is equals to 3 over 4 divided by cosine A, there is our eraser. This is our eraser. We know that Sokatoa. Toa. And then we know that this is already our right triangle. And we know that so, katawa opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent opposite over a, tangent opposite over adjacent. So, if this is tangent, this is the opposite three, and this the adj uh, adjacent is four. So, we need to recall the Pythagorean theorem: a squared plus b squared. We know that this is already our a, and this is b, right? So, 3 squared plus 4 squared, 9 plus 16 is what you call 25. Is that correct? Square root of 25 is 5. So, we have C, which is 5, and our cosine is 4 over 5. So, this will be our final answer. The answer is letter A. So, we need to recall the Sokatoa. Take note, Sokatoa and the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, let's proceed for number 55. Take note, let's proceed for number 55. 55, where is number 55 here? Find the distance between the center p1 and the church has p2 where p1 has a coordinate 1 3 and has p2 has a coordinate of 9 and 9 so we need to recall the distance formula distance formula is we know that the distance formula is y sub 2 y sub 1 squared plus x of 2 minus x of 1 squared right so we need to have what is our p sub 1 let's try to put it here this is 1 and 3 p sub 2 we have 9 and 9 so x of 1 y sub 1 and then x of 2 and then y sub 2 this one 
So our x of 1, where is y of 2? We have 9. Where is uh, y of 2 and then y of 1 is 3? And then x of 2 is 9 minus 1. Is that correct? X of 1, X of 2. Yan. And then, 9 minus 3 is 6. Squared. And then, 9 minus 1 is 8. Squared. This is 36 plus 64. And the answer is square root of 100. And the answer is 10. So, this is our distance formula. So, what will be our answer? So, the answer is letter B. Recall the distance formula. Okay. Let's proceed for number 57. Number 57. In how many ways that the word dark can be made without repetition? Let's try to recall the N factorial. When we speak about n factorial, the word dark. Dark. How many letters? Let's try to count. One, two, three, four. Right? So, n factorial. So, when we speak about n, four times three times two times one. Four times three is twelve. Twelve times two, twenty-four. Twenty-four times one. The answer in twenty-four. So, the best answer is letter B. Take note, ah. Take note. Okay, let's have 58. 58. Which of the following fraction is repeating decimal places? When we speak about repeating, we are referring to continuously decimal, like point pi 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 point three 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 three. That is what you call repeating decimal. So all you have to do is to look so one fourth when we speak about one divided by four that is zero two eight two zero we have five point twenty five so this will be our answer but it's not yet and nine and twelve is the same as three divided by three that's three fourth so, if we will divide 3 fourths, 3 divided by 4, this is 0 0.7, 28, 0, 0. The answer is point. This is not yet the final answer. And we know that 2 over 9, let's try to have 2 over 9, repeating decimal, 2 divided by 9. 0, 2, 18, 18, 2, 0, 2, 18, 0, 0, 2. So the answer is 2 over 9. So this is already continues to point 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. So that is N1 half. Automatically, it's 0.5. This is 0 0.75 and this is 0 0.25. So there are some you need to memorize. What are the repeating decimal? Okay, let's have proceed for number 59. Convert 12 hours to a minute. So we know that in every one hour, there is 12, uh, one, uh, 60 minutes. Is that correct? So 12 hours times 60 minutes over 1 hour cancel cancel so 12 multiply by 60 0 0 12 1 7 the answer is 720 so the answer is 720 minutes what is our final answer the answer is letter A so thank you very much guys and we will proceed for the video number nine is that correct uh sorry 
video number 8. So we have already proceeded. Again, don't forget to subscribe again my uh, channel. Recall everything. Guys, uh, you have to push yourself. You have to be faith in everything. This is only the time to help yourself. Uh, whether you're already in a bed, it's just only my open my uh, YouTube math academic knowledge so that you can recall everything. You need to recall, uh, practice, and have a faith in God in order you to pass everything, board exam, math teachers board exam, engineering board exam, math contest. See to it that you have already your own style and technique. And at the same time, you should have also your own uh, eagerness to pass everything in your examination as well as your uh, test exam. Thank you so much and we will proceed for have a break time for video number 8.